You think you know me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 2 Going Commando. In the last episode, we got shot because we had the wrong password. And because of that, we're going to Planet Tordano. First things first, do you have anything new? You have... So many good guns to use, but... I pretty much committed right now to going for that Rhino 2. So, no. Have to say no for that. Right. The first thing you notice that is... It has three different sections. First one being here, the second one is up here, third one down here. Now the first things first, we actually have first things first. I'm gonna go for this one of the skill points immediately, which is sa saving all the tourists, which means killing a whole lot of squirrels here. Wow. While turrets are looking at four different ro rockets. Do, do I need? Oh, never mind. I was about to say, do I need some ammo? No, I don't. I pretty much bought everything, or bought all the ammo I need, or all the ammo I used in the last episode. Actually, two episodes back. Right, that should be all of them. Let's just. Oh dear. I missed a squirrel. Whatever. Using a rocket ag against a squirrel. What are those things called? Also, if we take a look at the gadget menu, you can see that we actually have every single item except for one. So I could do pretty much the backtracking right about now. Since the one item that we don't have is not used in in ter in that the, the one item that we don't have is only used in story missions but first things first what the hell is that enemy called those damn squirrels also we have killed a hell of a lot of enemies here <laughs> yep Mega Pete, pretty much the um, the boss in the um, Gladiator. Race. I've killed him three times. Interesting. Mutant test squirrels. They are just squirrels. Great. Now first things first. Let's just okay. These things, those are just getting scared for nothing. And God damn, where are these squirrels coming from? I'm not that blind, am I? Okay, screw this. Everybody dies. I'll go for that skill point in a moment. Also, while I'm here, I might as well go for another skill point, which is just destroy ev every single rocket. Or this turret attraction. Which just happens to be four rockets. And while I'm destroying these... Actually, I might want to save that for last. I oh, screw it. Yeah. Save that for last, since it actually is the last one. And while I'm here, let's go for a platinum bolt that is kind of hidden. Basically, for this one you have to wait. Yeah, yeah. What you have to do is wait till the end of the tour and then go in here. With the rubber fish which disappears and we get a platinum bolt. I say that's a fair trade. Now, is there a new lot of turrets there? Yes, there is. So, there shouldn't be any squirrels. 
So I might as well start working on this hole. God damn, this takes forever to destroy. Start working on the other um, um, skill point. This planet has actually quite a lot of stuff. One uh, nanotech boost, three skill points, and just yeah, like three platinum bolts. So quite a lot of stuff. Squirrel out of nowhere! Screw you! Also, I may have destroyed that rocket. But may have been destroyed while I was trying to take off, so... No wonder... I saw squirrels coming out. They just pop out of nowhere, so... Rocket launcher time. Don't worry, I'm just guarding you. No squirrels here. Get that one bolt, and then we wait again. Okay, waiting for a squirrel. Waiting for a goddamn squirrel to pop out of nowhere. We seem to be good. Might as well get that other checkpoint. Uh, not checkpoint, skill point. There we go. There goes the rocket. Into space! Oh, new items. Apparently we got some new col colors. Great. If you screw me out of a skill point. If you screw me out of a skill point just because a bot ran fell off the edge. Screw you. There we go. Thank you. So we haven't actually really started the level and we've already got over a third of all the items we can get. Also, it's been a while but here we got an electrolyzer puzzle. And since this is late game, this should be a little bit harder than the previous ones, but it wasn't, not even slightly. Oh, I actually have to activate the elevator manually? How boring, how bad, boring, how bad, and boring. Mostly boring, but bad as well. Also, sharks in the water! That's always a great sign. Also, well, I guess that rocket didn't go too far after all. Oops. Let me just get the bolts. And move on with my life. And by that I mean... Moving on to this part of the level. And blowing my scrolls with, with rockets, because I can. Also, for whatever reason, this plant seems to be giving quite a lot of money. Which is a good thing, since I'm gonna be going to be needing an when using the tractor beam, try, try strafing. Thank you. Right, this area right here is based on tractor beam puzzles. Which actually has been a while since we've done this, so Nice, nice way to actually mix it up a little bit. But not that it's kind of easy. The puzzle part, I mean. What happens after the puzzle? Um, after the puzzles, it's not. It's not easy. Now, once again, we have to activate the elevator ourselves those automated, uh, automated um, elevators aren't a thing anymore. Also apparently those 
Pots for Magtar Nebula have got an upgrade. They may, may have got an upgrade at some point. Um, I just haven't been paying attention. Also, puzzles for blowing up things. Hooray. I was aware the hell are we actually. I bet clipping through the wall might be a bad idea right right here. So no. Let's not do that. Enemies, how oh great. The same enemies from Planet Tabora. No, not Tabora. Planet Double, there we go. Same enemies. But this time I don't I don't have to deal with crappy weapons, so I can just blow them up. Easily with my mini rocket tube. Of course, downside is that we're gonna be using quite a lot of ammo doing this. Also, that conveyor belt seems to be going quite low. I might be able to actually jump on that. Let's give it a go. Actually, let's not give it a go yet. That to the right place and ooh, secrets. Secrets that lead into a dead end. Or you might think. Remember a couple of episodes back when I picked up the spider bot? You know, this thing? That one puzzle we do, couldn't do in Planet Dobo? Well, this is basically what it is. You use this thing sneak into areas you can't get access to. Then you make him step on the switch, blow him up, and you got a free access to a platinum bolt. Which apparently we're not gonna be doing the animation because I was beating through it. Works for me. Also speeding through through, through this Apparently it breaks crates. Which is a great thing. I just want the ammo box, that's all. Also, did I really get that much um I see like a few chunk of XP I gained for this weapon by killing those guys. That is probably a mistake. You can actually see that see that I didn't get a whole lot of XP by doing the whole impossible challenge. Then again, to be fair, I didn't get too much XP for my weapons in in Ratchetagon 3. However, the difference was that was a new game plus save, so... That's why that I didn't get too many weapon upgrades in that uh, challenge or in that game. This one is kind of different since this is the first playthrough and not a new game. Plus, also, cool guys don't look at explosions. And that apparently just leads to even more challenges. Now, this one is kind of pain it has to do. Basically, you do that. And then you follow it. Follow it through. Blow up some enemies while you're at it. And hope hope that you get some XP. Also, there seems to be random sheep everywhere. Hmm. Wonder what's the point of that. Ray, puzzles. That slightly further. Chuck this in. Get this out of the way. Actually, just put it forward. Because apparently, this wall is so huge that we need di three different bombs to explode it. And they need to be in, in their own positions. Can't put them in the wrong place for whatever reason. Also, they just blow up for whatever reason. Once they are all in place. Oh, 
Also, sheep everywhere. Okay, I was. I remember there being a whole lot of shooting in this area. I might be thinking of another area. So never mind. Forget. Forget about shooting. Oh, don't. There's the, there's the shooting that I was kind of hoping for. I'm just gonna shoot that guy up there. You guys are being annoying. Fine. I'll just shoot you once you teleport in. That works for me. Actually keep doing that. I want the XP. And the money. I really want the money though. Ooh, that seems like a new weapon. <coughs> we got the ship nature. Remember, remember, quackonator or quackomatic? It's pretty much that. Except that this time, instead of doing ducks. For transporting enemies into ducks, we transform them into ships. Also, ammo. I really love ammo. I don't love sparkle of ammo, but I love ammo. That also brings us to an yet another skill point. Once we actually do this puzzle. This whole puzzle is pretty much just pick a direction and hope you go the right way. That's pretty much the puzzle of that one. Anyway, the ship mode here. You're gonna be an ass, aren't you? Also, the game is trying to be an ass for not letting me aim. Ow. Holy crap, those guys do damage! I wanna do the skill point, but I can't really do it if I'm being shot by that guy. Actually, keep doing that. I can hit you right now. There we go, that works. There we go, brilliant. Wait a minute, you didn't die, that's bullshit. You took three hits. The other guy took three hits. Why didn't you take three hits? Also, stop moving so I can actually aim at you. Now you're gone over there! How am I supposed to hit you if you're over there? Asshole. Also, free help because that's always useful. Right, let's continue on our quest to actually do this skill point. This whole ship nato skill point, I might not be able to do it on this go, I may need to come back. Ow. Also traps hurt. Ooh, there's a rocket. There's a big rocket there. I wonder if I can actually explode that. Goddamn traps everywhere. If not paying attention, annoying. Other than that, not annoying. Also, I, apparently somehow I've missed this spot. That leads to absolutely nowhere. What's the point of that? That also leads nowhere and I can't probably even get there. Anyway, has anybody been keeping up score how many squirrels I've killed at this point? Don't kill the squirrel. One job. You had one job, you stupid trap. Okay, let's just lure them in here. While destroying a few traps. There we go. That's the job done. Now we can actually use the traps to kill the squirrel. There we go. And once again activate an, an elevator, because automatic elevators can go through themselves. 
also enemies that keep respawning because they are always, that's always a fun mechanic but no no more sad now I'm sad I wanted more enemies actually I didn't want more enemies because I need the XP not the XP the ammo for Ooh, a hidden puzzle also you count how many things I need to how many places I need to go before connecting this up and this is what I mean about puzzles getting ridiculous it's all about memorization so good luck damn it okay it's trial and error pretty much damn it there we go they are doable but they are pretty much just trial and error also yet another nanotech upgrade because those are things that we actually do need also that pretty much completes this place yep all the skill points have been collected the one nanotech upgrade and two platinum bolts there is a third one but I'm gonna come back for it later because in the same area there is something we need an item for so I might as well just do it or I might as well just get the platinum bolt when I get when I have that one item because that leads to another good item later on so might as well just come back later also more ammo for this thing could be nice also stop respawning that could that is also nice thank you really do need ammo though so ah five ammo that should kill six more enemies which happen to be right here and I'm out of uh, ammo so I need to go on back and check if there is some ammo somewhere around here which there doesn't seem to be so going to buy more ammo also that bar wire doesn't hurt me for whatever reason also I left the trap I just left the trap tra there that's not nice that's like just like leaving a mine out of the out on field. We shouldn't be doing that. People can get hurt, you know. Ow. Also pretty much tapping the charge boots. Or tapping the charge. This is the fast bit. When, once you gain control it slows down and then that's you're not just moving fast so what's the point a one shot one kill a one shot three kill triple kill nice ah, now you're just spawning alone also health is always a good thing if there's no more enemies I'm gonna be pissed also compare this challenge for the, la to the last one way easier he says after going the wrong way immediately oh you again piss off yes sort of you leave the crit later because I'm probably going to be needing it also quite a few ammo boxes back here as well so that's like 15 shots I can get back here I'll grab them if I need them which I don't Angela Cross calling Ratchet on secure band 7 Echo Foxtrot Ratchet here uh Angela is that your name 
Ratchet was calling you something quite different. Oh, was he now? Anyway, I'm just calling to warn you that thugs for less have taken over my flying lab. But were the thugs not working for you? Not anymore. Apparently, someone's made them a better offer. <sighs> I tell you, between the thugs and the protopet, this whole galaxy's heading for- Wait, say again? Protopet? Oh, yeah. It's what they're calling the experiment now. Here, watch this. Oh, no, no. Why is Billy sad? Is he cold, hungry, or maybe just... Oh, no! No, 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 take it away! Lonely. No! Introducing the Megacore Protopet. Your child will shriek with joy when he meets our adorable friend. Wanna play ball? So does the Protopet. Need a partner for tag? Go find the Protopet. Up for some cops and robbers? Help! Police! So is you know who. Just ask Billy. No! The Megacore Protopet. Stop by Planet Bolden and get yours free from Abercrombie Fizz Widget himself. You mean that thing is going to be a pet? Megacorp intends to market a killer that is simply unconscionable. Which is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. There will be disastrous consequences for the entire galaxy if that monster is distributed. We must get through to Mr. Fizz Widget. Oh, if you still think he'll listen, you should try to catch him on the planet Bolden. I'll upload the coordinates. This could be our last chance. Oh no, Silver City. Not gonna be fun even slightly. Also, I'm not going back to get those four boxes. Just not gonna do it. Also, that scroll can sort off. Also, what is the point of this teleporter that transports back to a ship? Actually, this I understand. This, or, or this, I don't understand. Because you can slide all the way down. Or you can teleport. I don't understand why that's a thing. But that's just me. Right, that does it for Planet Todano. In the next episode we are moving on to Planet Bolden in Silver City.